Welcome, folks. Welcome to 2022. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. 2022, man. Here we go. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement. Create a new one and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. My advice, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 188, NASDAQ is up 168, S&P is up 23, gold contract down $27.30 at 1801 an ounce. We have silver down 46 cents, $22.88 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 86 cents, $76.07 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down a full point plus two ticks at 129.12. The 30 year off a full two points plus 20 ticks at 157.26. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 546 ticks, trading 96.216. The Euro is out here at 112. The yen is at 115.31, and the British pound is at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this baby still looks like it wants to go up and hit the 500 mark. We take a look at the SPY. What we have out here today is that you went to lower price right off the bat. You rejected it. You rejected 473. We're at 477. You are going to have light of volume on Friday. That saying is going right for the highs again. And when we broke out, meaning a week ago this month, a week ago today, bottom line, that's saying that the spy wants to go to 500. Wild market, no doubt. Now, NDX 100 is a different ball game, and it's going to be particularly a different ball game depending on how we close out here today. Because what we had is this: we had the open, everything pulled back. It's clawed everything back. And if, we, if the NDX stays up here also and does not pull back, then you know what? You probably have another ABC structure also inside of the, AB, of, of the uh, NDX 100, which is going to be really wild. Uh, because the way this is set up now is that it would overtake the high that was generated out here on the 22nd of November. That high is 408.71. We're at 401. You can see what happened here. On Friday, we had 34 million shares traded. Bottom line, you got below that level today. We're going to probably have 50 around there. They'll probably put 20 million in, maybe 15. That still being said, guess what? You're coming into the strength. You're rejecting the lower price. Now, that would be the bullish scenario. The bearish scenario, all of the S&P would have to, I mean, the, the Qs would have to do is just basically come back about a point and a half. If you came back a point and a half, that, that would be telling to me that we're going to have some divergence here and that the Qs actually want to go to the bottom of the range that we've been in. So it's going to be an interesting close out here. Notes and bonds. We're going to take a look at the note and bond market. What you have out here first is that we have the 10-year right now. It's uh, yielding 1.63. If we take a look at it, you're going to see it you're down hard and fast. That being said, though, guess what? You're going against... I think this is going against 2 million or something. 2.4 million, 129.09. And then 1.85 million, and we're still only at 1.2 million. So we have, you have the wide price spread, but you don't have the volume behind the move. And what we did have out here, now, so check this out. This is pretty wild. I was talking about this on Friday. So on Friday, what had happened, folks, is this. That was the largest um, amount of money that the banks ever put in the repo facility. And then what happened this morning? It is it broke records of what the banks took out. So watch this. So 76 participants took 1.58 trillion from the 1.905 trillion that they had put in the bank the night before, okay? This is the largest drop since the records began, folks, in 2013. So what that is saying is this. Yeah, at the end of the year, they're straightening all their books out at the end of the year. Bottom line, they throw all the bread in there for the, they get uh, five one hundredths of one percent. That's, that's what the facility pays right now, overnight. But guess what? When you're talking a trillion dollars, 
want to do the math, five one hundredths of a trillion dollars, uh, two trillion dollars is still a lot of money. That being said, that's why you see that dollar also moving up versus moving down because what's going on is that the banks went back and says, give me all that money back. So we'll see where this whole baby's gonna shake out. If we go into the 30-year, uh, let's go take a look at the 30-year bond also. So we have with the 30-year, that's down a full two and a half points. You have 300,000 contracts traded, and I believe we're gonna go up one more than that too. This is gonna be really wild, man. Just shaking, baking. So you got 332,000 we're going into and 418, yeah, you get price spread, but you know, bottom line, you still don't have the movement. Now, this gets interesting though, because what I just seen here, we just broke a B point in the bond market with volume. So that's saying, oh, let me see this one, 163.19 to 159. So you get four and a half points, which would get you 155.18, and the swing is 155.26. Okay, well, this is gonna be interesting, see what happens here. So the 30-year has taken the swing out with volume. It's an ABC down. Let me see if the 10-year is doing that. I don't believe it was. We just brought that up, but it very well might be. That took the swing, but let's just see. This is much smaller for sure. Yeah, that took it out. So 10-year, 131.19. 130.03, so you got approximately one and a half points, which you get your 129. That's interesting. So, or 129.12. So, we can go to, they're both ABC structures down. The 10s to 129. The swing, the swing low is 128.22. So, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here. What do we do with silver? Silver out here, right now, that's trading down 45 cents. We have volume of 43,000 contracts out here and it hasn't broken the swing point. So bottom line is that, you know, it, you have to break the swing first, which is 2260, you know? This is just more building cars for higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials right now, trading up by 170. NASDAQ is up 187. S&Ps are up 24. We'll come right back.